Welcome back everyone. Today is something a little bit different over the next few weeks and months. We're going to be doing some top 11 content. Now I'm delighted to be working with top 11 on these videos over the next few weeks. What is top 11? Now top 11 is a free to play football management game. You can download it down in the description for free. It's available on iOS, Android devices and also on the Hawaii web app and as in today because I'm sat in front of the PC you can also use the web browser if you sign in using your Facebook account. Now very exciting because Top 11 have done it's been going for about 11 12 years now and they have had significant changes in particular this year the most requested new feature by the Top 11 community was a 3D match engine and from 2022 they have got a 3D match engine so we're going to be checking that out. We're going to do a little bit of comparison compared to Football Manager. I think that's fair. This is a Football Manager channel by the way so we'll compare it, how it looks, how it feels. We're going to basically build a club. If you weren't aware, Jose Mourinho, my idol, you guys know at home, he is the ambassador of Top 11, so there's opportunities here. To, I'm going to build my club. We're going to build it in Italy. We're going to give it the 3 4 one, two kind of um, Jose Mourinho Roma vibes, the, the setup that he basically won the Europa Conference League last night. And we're going to get stuck into that. Now, with Top 11, you're playing people all the way across the world. There is, I think the, the game's broken down into 31 different languages. There has been over 240 million people play this game. That is an absolutely insane number. And I'm going to mix it up with the best of them. We're going to play it. We're going to build a club from scratch. So we're talking training, squads, youth academy. You get to build your ground. You get to do sponsorship packages, the lot. Go through leagues, win Champions Leagues, we're going to win trophies, we're going to have a lot of fun. Now, I've played this game for two or three weeks just to get to grips with it so I can hopefully give you a little bit of basis. If you're going to start the journey with me today, you can hopefully follow these few simple little tips that I'm going to give you. By all no means am I an expert, absolutely not. I said I've only played it for literally two weeks. Um, but the one good thing is that if you register, sign up with your Facebook account, you get to play on multiple devices so you can be on the go. I think I'm going to do it obviously for content wise, I'm going to do it from the desktop. When I'm at work, I can use my mobile phone just to tweak things. I've realised in the game, if you if you go on regularly, just to, for a couple of minutes every day, just tweak things, maybe put a little cheeky bid in, maybe look at your training. It really does help build the club up. And as I said, if I'm in bed as well, I can use my Android tablet. All right. Let's get into it. We're going to go straight to the home screen. As I said, links in the down, links in the description. Go check it out. If you are playing top 11, by all means, as I said, add me on Facebook. That's down in the description. Smash a like on today's video as well, so it just shows me that you are enjoying and want to see more top 11 content. All right, let's go in. Let's build our club. All right, guys, so here we are in top 11. The first thing you'll come once you've sort of like signed up, it only takes like a minute to sign up using your Facebook. You come through to this first page where this is where you build everything going forward. Now, it takes your first name. So on, I think on Facebook, because I couldn't call myself FM Trek, I'm called Matt Trekinio. Uh, what we're going to actually do is we're going to change it so people are aware of obviously who I am. So I am my friend. Oh, so I am my friend Trek. I am from England. Team name. I have I, I, sleepless nights over this, but we're just gonna go with the Chiquinios. And we're gonna do. We're gonna go for it. We want Italy. You know me. You know the channel. I love Italy. I think that will. And then that will give us. And then that will give us, I think, when we get our new squad together, I think the majority of the players will be from Italy. Um, City, it's got to be Rome, hasn't it? It's got to be Rome. It's got to be Jose Mourinho. And then badge-wise, ooh, they've given us a few selections. Right, okay, that's that's probably the most Roma vibe, isn't it? So we go in there now. There is opportunities to use other logos and use your tokens, your in-game sort of like currency to buy... Um, I think you can buy things like the real club badges. I think PSG, Liverpool, um, Dortmund, Real Madrid. You can buy their kits. You can even buy their badges. But I want my own vibe. I want to develop my own kits. You can make your own kits. You can literally do every part of the football club in this game. Okay. So, club emblem. There we go. Continue. Have you played top 11 before? We'll say it's my first time. 
and there it is. Welcome, FM Trek. I am Jose Mourinho. Now, I think the one thing about good about this game is that I thought why I would do this and show you is the the, the amount of instructions and stuff. Now, one thing. Now, one thing that is really good about the game, it gives you a little bit of a head start. It gives you a little bit of a setup. Set if you haven't played the game before, once that's done, your club's set up. This is the home screen. Now, my suggestions would be the first thing that will pop up is in a suggestion of. Have, have you played the game before? If you haven't, I suggest just following Jose Mourinho just for 10 minutes, let him teach you the basics. You get a few extra coins, um, some tokens, etc., that you can use to buy players, um, train players, etc. It's really good. Shows you how the match engine works, what you can do in game tactically, how to make substitutions, etc. I encourage you to do it, follow it as you go. Now, this is the home screen. Number one, I actually really like the home screen. Visibly really nice. Obviously, this down here is, is friends where you can play friendlies against each other. Jose Mourinho has got his own team in the game. Hopefully, some of you guys by now will have added me to Facebook. So, I will have some Facebook friends. That would be nice. That would be nice. Down the left hand side, similar to Post Football Manager, you've got all the icons. You've got all the different um, things from leagues, transfers, training, dates, ground, everything. Now... Some of the things are locked, so for instance, if you go to the ground icon, ground is currently locked, complete the onboarding task to unlock ground and build facilities. So, that means you need to just go to task. So if, if you click go task, it's very simple, and then once again, everything is bouncing in front of you in terms of where to go. Train your team to improve, players and increase team, press go, let's select a training session, drop, you get three choices, obviously. The more you build up your manager level, as you can see, you get extra things. So obviously you can get more out of your training sessions. Let's have a little stretch to finish. It tells you the condition in the bottom corner, what's going to happen. Then you can select players, so you can select all of them. You can select by zone as well. So you can say, right, I'm just going to train my defenders, etc. You can also do it individually by ticking them off. But we're going to do a team session. And all you do is start training. And there you go. Training complete and then it gives you little bonuses look boom okay and as you can see my training level has already gone up to level three because i've already done that's the second training session that i've done i did one with jose marini at the start that's my second one and then it gives you an option to pick things so it gives you the opportunity to sort of like it'll either upgrade or unlock it says so it, it, you can unlock new sessions or it will upgrade sessions so if sessions if you upgrade sessions you will then get better quality you will get more sort of like um pluses in terms of looks fitness and sprint attributes your attributes will improve more if you upgrade basically um so i'm just going to click on one a day at the races you and your team check out the national 100 meter finals and it gives you look there you go drill we've got the sprint training in brilliant task completed there you go once that comes up, press claim. Send you to the task you've There we go. Task completed. Brilliant. Keep going through these as you go. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to go down one tab at a time. So, now this is my squad page. What I do want to do is try to form a formation. You've got your tactics. So, what I actually would like to see, I want to build a three. We're going to have a defensive midfielder. We're only going to play one. We're going to play with two strikers. So something like that. We're going to play a three at the back. So something like that. And immediately you've got arrows. You've got players that are playing completely out of position. So I am lucky enough that I've got some players in there to make defense. Have I got a spare centre half? Yes, I have. So I've got three centre halves. Let's get Polini in. Brilliant. I forgot a left midfielder. Yeah, not a good one. But a left midfielder nonetheless. Obviously, the star ratings are similar to a football manager. They kind of change as well. Look, so task progress is coming. Everything you do when you complete a task as well, when you complete a task, you get more stuff. You get more as the in-game currency. So, so up here, you've got your in-game sort of like currency. So you've got your tokens, which helps you sort of like buy players. You can, get, you can either buy tokens. I haven't bought any yet. I'm just using the challenges. Signing TV deals, etc. gets you tokens, helps you buy players. Um, improve your training facilities, etc. Rest, you can use these little tokens to rest the players. Uh, morale boost and use the treatments if you have players that are injured. And obviously there, your 3.5 million is where you then buy. And there's your 3.5 million. That's your balance. That's going to help you no doubt sign players. So we're going to go with the 3-1-4-2. Tactical wise, maybe not Jose so much, but we're going to go attacking. We're going to focus play. We're going to keep that mixed. Passing style will go short. And force counter-attacks, absolutely. Pressing high, tackling hard. Marking, no, I'll tell you what, we are tackling style because I got a few sent off before. Marking style, man-to-man, -man, play off design trap, yes. 
Okay, so we set us up. We're going to be quite aggressive. And what you can do as well, you can save your slots. So we may get like a, maybe a 3 4 one, two in a number so we can change things a little bit more easily during games. There's the training. Second icon is the training that we spoke about. Now transfers work quite differently. You've got a thing called auctions. Auctions last for three minutes. So as you can see, there is a deadline for, for players and then it resets. So if we just very quickly just click on a player. Let's click on Musa 27 There you go. There are the offers in. So you have to obviously outbid the next person. So I'd have to buy, I'd have to put in 11 tokens and have a cash of 379,000. That's how you do it. You also get at some point your assistant manager. There's a little icon missing here. Your assistant manager. I can see now. Look, oh, it's four minutes. It resets. Um, obviously, star players the better they are. I always go on age as well because age players retire. Scouting. They give you some absolutely exceptional players, but do cost a lot more. So it's like more of the better players in the world. Negotiations, you get a level four, and as I said, he assumed you'll have assistant recommendations. They will recommend you a couple of players. It's like the mean, it's a little, they're a little bit more than auctions, but not as much, nowhere near as much as scouting. They get you some players that are, are and then what they do is your assistant manager, he finds someone that's better than someone that's already playing in your team. So pretty useful. I have used a couple of them so far. Next little icon is the Youth Academy. We've got to build it up first. Very good, very important. We want to build our own players, don't we? We want to progress our own players. So something that we'll be using. And as I said, as you unlock more levels, you can have more players training through your youth academy. Fixtures is a good thing to follow. In particular, once you've done your opening season. So today I'm playing at 16.09. So I need to make sure I'm hit the computer to that because we'll play that game on today's, uh, today's episode. Every day you have a game. At the moment, in my other game, because I've made it through to the Champions League and there is a cup when you start your second season, um, you can sometimes play multiple games per day. Um, and the good thing as well is I get a notification on my phone when the match is about to begin, like a 10, 15 minute warning and then another one to say the match is beginning. So very useful in case you forget and you want to sit and watch your team play. So those are the fixtures. Now here is the league. Now this, as this is my first season, you play a different number. So the first time I did it, I had nine teams in today. We have 12 teams in your league. After the first season, the seasons last 26 days. The full season lasts 26 days. You're in groups, you're in leagues of 14. So obviously you play each other twice, that gives you 26 games. You've also got the opportunity, the top eight get promoted 99% of the time. Obviously there's a lot of rejigging at the end of a season with so many players across the world. But you're looking at top eight. The top four gets you Champions League football. The top five, between five and six, seven and eight gets you sort of like Europa League. It's called the Super League. There's also a cup. So now I'm in my second season of my other save. I'm in League, Champions League, and cup so there is you know opportunity to win lots of trophies obviously lots of trophies as well if you cook the rules you got your prize money in as well prize per match all the rules in there as i said the rule book is really really good for just having a being aware of what goes on the golden boot that'll be obviously sets up it shows you who is the top scorers the top rate average rating and top assist makers champions league we haven't qualified for yet there's the cup we haven't qualified yet um events this is a good one. This will show you, once again, friendly championship. These little things pop up from top 11. Take charge is something that you have, what, two weeks to complete and comp uh, to go through. Loads of little tasks that I've explained. Preparation tour as well is something that you need to finish. Get that finished early. You get more tokens, etc. Get that one out of the way. Associations is something that I've not set up, but I'm really looking to setting up my own association. I think from that there, team... Team up with other managers. I'm going to set up my own FM Trek association so that people can enjoy my association. I think you can play against other associations and you can play amongst yourselves as well. So I'll definitely get one of them set up when I get to training level six. So just shows you training your players regularly, very important. Then you're on your club overview. You can sort kits out at some point. I will sort them out. We're going to get better kits than that. You can design your own. You can obviously buy kits as well. There you go. There's the inventory, your emblem, your goalkeeper jerseys. Um, your season stats and then a really good one I think run that I'm going to really look forward to sharing with you guys is my progress throughout my time all time stats all time stats how many times can we win trophies and then obviously most goals record record holders etc manage wise there we go there are my details and um, it comes up with all your uh, sort of like information in terms of your playing style achievements completed etc trophies won trophies other trophies won all the tasks that need to be completed as i said the more tasks you complete the more rewards you get 
There you go, there's your lifetime achievements as well, which is pretty cool. Good way of keeping a track of how you're progressing. You can also see your friends and opponents on the progress they have made. Finances, it's pretty basic, but at the same time, it's very useful. Now, in particular, you've got your TV rights and you've got your sponsorship. So I've already signed two TV, I've signed a TV deal. If you click on it, I get one token every time I sign in and one every day where there's so up to two tokens per day. The more you do and the more you unlock, as you can see, level three, you get to unlock the more, the more you unlock, the better the rewards. Same with the sponsorship as well. There's different locks in there. So at the moment we're getting what, 600,000. We're getting that till the end of the season, new season stats. You do get reminders from your assistant on the homepage down here. On this little right hand side here, this little like this little these little tabs here, you get stuff in there to remind you. Um, the ground we can't work on, but by next episode, what we'll do is we'll have a little look around the ground. I mean, it's like old fashioned Premier Manager for you guys that are a little bit older. Um, it's like Premier Manager where you can build your training, your, your your graphics, and to be fair, I'll show you a little screenshot now. The the, the the graphics are actually really good. Build stadium scoreboards, parking the lot. It's really fun. Community feed as well, just so you can keep up to date with what is going on in the community. And then the shop at the end, if you do want to buy additional stuff. I've not bought anything yet. I'm finding it really good at grinding the game and working with what we've got. Now, looking at our team, we've got a couple of weak areas. In particular, by the way, Torado is the player that if you go through the onboarding tasks and you go through the Jose Mourinho, it shows you how to play it. And uh, yeah, we picked up Torado. We couldn't choose, but by the way, Tremendo is probably our best player at the, at the club. Um, what you can do is in there as well, this is where you can you know, change things. I can improve the condition. Look, if I just press the plus icon, it costs me one look to get his tokens up. Use your tokens wisely. Use your um, morale, your fitness boost, all wisely. I, in particular, make sure I concentrate on my strongest player. Right, I think we need a centre half. As you can see, this guy, Polini, is just over three star. Three star, an absolute small, tiny bit. So we need a centre half. So if you go into transfers, click by roles. So this dude here, Thurnison, who's wanting a lot. That's a lot. Ten tokens. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite a wheeler dealer, and we've got to look around. But he can do two positions. Well, let's do it. Let's see if we can get a, let's see if we can get him in. We're counting down five seconds. We're gonna get hopefully record signing as long as no one comes in at the last second. We're in. There we go. We've won a player. Won the auction. Nadim Thurston, the Swedish. I think he's Swedish. Yeah. So all we're gonna do is buy a player. Task completed. Look. Boom. There we go. We'll claim that. What have we got? Ten percent. So you will instantly get ten percent shooting attribute for your play. So what I am doing is because I'm thinking long term. I'm going to use Torado, who's my superstar, and Mekiman as, as good as I possibly can. Because what happens is, guys, as you move up divisions like Football Manager, the star rating drops. So a five-star player in the championship in this current league is not going to be five stars in the league above. So something to be aware of. So obviously, I'm, I'm trying to think long-term when I'm playing this, as long-term as possible. So if we go into squad, there he is. Look, new players. So I'm going to put him straight in, straight into the lineup, get rid of Polini. Out he goes. Polini then drops into my reserves. Okay, so a, a thing to look at here in this top corner, you've got your percentage. So this is the, the quality of my team compared to other teams sort of like in my league. The other one, the one in brackets, 15.4 is the overall quality. Obviously out of 100, the overall quality of the squad. And as you go, you're looking to build, build, build. Now, there we go. What we are going to do is before we finish, we're going to take a look at the match engine. I think it's a league game fixtures. Yeah, at 16 and 9, as you can see, Fixtures change. Now you can edit. Can I edit? You can't put it, but to, for two tokens, look, you can actually change the kickoff time to suit you when you're at home. I will keep that at 16 or 9 because I know I can get back from the school running time to do it. So we're taking on Cassone. First season. I'm hoping we can get top four so we get some Champions League football, obviously, more money. I think as well down. In the finance, in the no, no, fine. Where's the finances? Down in the finances at the end as well. You've got tickets, your ticket revenue. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to pop it up to four. We're going to pop it up to four. Ticket ticket prices are now four dollars instead of zero, as instead of three. And then a couple of things as well that you can change while you're kind of waiting. This is why the game's great for just you know if you've got five minutes. 
just to have a little play, a little fiddle club. Uh, if we edit, we can change obviously countries and stuff. We can change, so we're going to call them Treks, fan club names. We're going to call them Trek Ultras. Boom. And by the looks of it, you can share stuff. I need to find some friends on Facebook, so make sure you add me as a friend on Facebook. And as well, at any point, I think you can actually play Jose. I think you can choose to play him in a friendly. I think that's what that section's here. You can pick a friendly. You can just play any of your friends at any point. All right, that is it. Let's get into the 3D match engine. First league game. Let's see if we can start with a win. Right, and we're back. We've got literally like four minutes before um, our first game of the season kicks off. I've just had a little note, a little message from Jose. All recommended offers from your assistant will be shown in this tab daily. So as I said earlier on in the video, I was wondering when it popped up. We've actually got it here. So there's now a fourth tab, the assistant. Next assistant offer will be a daily player. So you do get offered a daily player every day. They said it does cost a little bit in tokens. Um, and then the price is normally relatively cheap. But to be fair, it normally gives you really good recommendations. So let's go into the squad. Oh, I've got an onboarding reward. Let's take it. Hey, token, take that. Every day you log in as well, you get something special. So even if you've not got much time, just a minute, get you something to make sure you get logged in at some point every day. Right, I think we've done a lot. So here on the, on the tactics tree, you've got your mentality. So what you can do with this, if you want players just to drop in a little bit. So if you want, it's a bit like the old school FM Championship Manager. If you want players to do a little bit more, so, so let's have our left. We want our wingers flying up, don't we? So mentality we've clicked on. And then one click forwards. And then with the strikers, I like to change it up. I want my central midfielder driving forwards. Um, but what we might do then is just drop Esposito so he goes back a little bit just like that. You've got your condition and morale. Second tab. Third tab is the opponent's team. So it looks like he's playing something a little bit fruity. And then this is where... So captain... We're just going to give it to everything to run. By the way, you can change the names and stuff. You can change the names. You can change everything about your player if you really want to. But you can be my captain, my corner kick taker, right and left. It can be penalty taker, free kick taker. Not need to worry about penalties just yet. But he can do it a little bit all. He can do it all. Oh, he's playing. There's that. To be fair, our new sign as well. He can also do a job in uh, defensive midfield as well, which is pretty good. So once again, there's stuff you can change. You can, say you can change the player names. You've got things like play styles, develop players, play styles similar to sort of like the stuff you can do in FIFA. You get your stats, your contracts, offering contracts. I'm always keen on making sure I keep an eye on the age. Um, offers, no offers made, no bids made. There you can see, look, personal trainer turning some stuff. Obviously, stuff like this costs tokens, but I'm just going to play it a little bit naturally and not worry so much about overkilling it and using... You know, buying tokens and all that kind of stuff because you can play the game naturally and have fun and having to spend God knows how many. Right, we've completed a task down here by the looks of it. Claim. So there's all these rewards, look. Another one there. I'll stun. A few little tokens, that'll do. Five morale boosts. And three. No, so some rests. I get them mixed up. Blues morale, rests, and is the green. And then if they do get injured, then you can use the teams. We've got another one here as well. Add 5% on a play by the looks of it. Looks like our game is kicking off. Here we go. So we're playing someone, someone across the other side of the world. By the way, it looks like he's, he's called Callum. So I'm going to say he's British. Here we go. So there is the match. I think straight away it does look, obviously you're a little bit limited in movements and stuff, but just on the whole, it looks a lot more realistic than what Football Manager actually does. Right. I run to the cosh, it's a good tackle. Oh, where's he going? And one thing you've got is you've got your fans, you've got boosts for being at home and stuff like that. The other guy's got manager support from Jose, which is a little bit of a worry. You've got bonuses as well from your training, so I always go attacking. Unless we're sort of like winning, then I drop it to possession or something like that. That just gives you a little quick boost during the game. And all you do is you've got your, so down here you've got your highlights, obviously highlights tells you what goes on. You've got your tactics screen, fan screen. Statistics is always a good one, just to keep an eye on how your team doing. I haven't played, I'm a little bit worried that 
this is the tactic that I want to play and it's not going to be great in the game because in the other one I've been playing oh, just wide. Um, we've been playing a 4-1-3-2 four, four, but with one central midfielder and two wide players and it's worked quite nice. So fingers crossed we can get on the ball a little bit. Start with a win. That's a nice switch. Oh, and a volley. We're in. Kastai. Ooh, Kassa? Kassa die. No goal. Decent save from the goalie. I have seen some wonderful goals as well. So you can see the bonus icon just in the corner. It's just starting to... It's all like you, it gives you a, like a little nudge for a little bit of time. And then it goes off. So it's just a, a case of keeping alert. And if you've seen any little icons, obviously you take advantage. And we've hit the ball. Trachinio's nearly went 1-0 up. Statistics in the game. Just edging possession. All right, Gaston. Gonzalez. We get that. We do. It does really well. Are we breaking? We could be breaking. I've asked for counter-attacks. Good player, Castai. Torado. Castai, Torado. Getting involved. This is good. This is good. We should be in. Ooh. Good tackle. And as you can see, there's nothing. We're playing in the wilderness there. But as this, as you progress and as you go on, you, you develop the ground. I think some of the ground-like numbers are ridiculous. Um, I think over the what there is in sort of like real live football grounds. I think the stadium sizes you can go are absolutely huge. But I think we're starting on 200. And then as you build your stands, Ooh, just wide scoreboards. We've got medical, youth academy, training to do. Lots of stuff to keep you busy. So it's brilliant for just if you're on the way home on the bus. I often do it when I'm sat in the car waiting to get Ralphie or waiting to sort of like, um, waiting to go into, into work and waiting for a school or something like just five minutes and quickly do something, unlock a challenge. We're in. <gasps> Torado, my superstar, has skied it. My number 11 as well. M. Georgia Canopolis. Love that. Right, we've got a bonus here. You see the icon? So what we're going to have to do is a little bit of possession. That gives you that little bit of boost. We're on top though, boys. In our opening again. I'm starting to like the old kit as well. Right, we're in. Georgia Coppolis. He's in. Oh, good save from the goalie. Should, should have scored. What, how many chances have we had on goal? Only two on target. You're like, that's another thing I like with this. this the, the match screen, we, we complain with Football Manager that the match screen isn't great. It's scruffy. We've scored. Gets in. And just before half time, we've got our noses in front. Right, we've got another one. Have we got another goal in us? Right, Paragra. Lepri. Oh, it's a lovely switch out to Fanny. It's a good tackle. You kind of get those little highlights where it doesn't really amount to anything. We're coming up to half time. But this, like this screen here, and then when you bring up like the statistics and stuff, is really good. It just looks nice and clean. I wish football manager would take note. I'm going to change morale wise. Uh, sorry, morale, fitness. We're okay, we're okay. Striker's struggling a little bit. So we'll do a little change. Let's do a little change. We're on. Always got to press that green tick and then press back to match to get you on. Have we got 2-0 up? We got there. We're going to make a change anyway, but we are now 2-0 up. Trachinio FC up and winning. We've got an Esposito as well. Love that. We've got an Esposito. Going to learn the players as we go. I said, I'm, I want to get like youth players going and, and get the training up so we can get the, the youth facilities sorted and we can get bring our own going. I imagine that's I imagine that's like the cheapest way of getting new players in. And obviously, if you get players in that are really good, then they're going to stay with you hopefully for a long time, aren't they? And they're going to have a little sniff. We've absolutely dominated this. I was a little bit... Ooh, that's a big chance. I was actually a little bit worried after the first five minutes, but we've dominated the game since, haven't we? Right, bonuses. So this is where I'm going to say, right, just... This is where you've trained. Just improve bonuses from training luck. So we're just going to use defence. So it gives the defensive boost just for a few minutes. Right, Torado. Lepre. Switches it out wide to Parago. Crossing the box. Esposito's there. He could be the man, Esposito. He could be the man. So we are playing with only three at the back, but we have got a sitting midfielder as well. Right, Torado has found... This is a central midfielder who's moved forward. Oh, he skipped over one. He skipped over two. Oh, he could have done better. He did pretty well to get to that point. Right, we should be able to see this out. I'm not. I'm always unsure of what to do tactically at the moment, but I'm going to try and play it a little bit realistically, where we, you know, we drop it. We say defensive. 
maybe ease off the passing style. We're parking the bus maybe a little bit. Good interception as well by Casadai there. Okay, Pandolfi. Clips it forward. See, the match engine looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot more realistic in terms of the, the player shapes and stuff. Obviously, there's not much in terms of the match engine highlight-wise, but, but for a mobile game, a free game, I think it's pretty good. I think if this was Football Manager, we'd all enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, look at that. It's your average ratings as well. 6.9 today, hello. I'm not going to do any more subs. I need to learn. To, I need to start doing a few more subs in games and stuff. I think if you undo, if you do substitutions and stuff, once again, stuff like that helps you complete tasks. There's always things about do can you do 50 substitutions and all that kind of stuff. So do subs when you can, especially if you have games every day. Normally, when I've played a game as well, I then do make sure I've done at least one training session before the next game. I'm not sure if that's right, but there's normally a little. To be fair, there's normally a little icon next to your training, which I think, hey, there we go, we won some cash, 2-0, and this, once again, this screen, lovely clear screen, so we had 19 shots compared to their eight, one substitution, two goals, highlights, just as a brief rundown, statistics, look at this, how clean it looks, line up, oh, we've got fireworks going off, fans, we've got Omen now, that's the foam advantage, and I was sort of like, I think that must be our manager level rating, I think, and then it gives you some rewards. Look, player progression, which is always good. And that's what we've won. $800 and a few of those as well. That'll do. Leave the match. Inbox. Just got a few messages. There is Jose. Handsome man. Assistant. So you've got all these messages, look, to go through. Daily gifts as well. So I think this is where you send stuff to people. I think. Yeah, I need some friends. I need some Facebook friends, so make sure you follow me. Uh, go give me an ad on Facebook. All right, guys, that is it. Hope you've enjoyed it. So let me know down in the comments if you're going to be playing this game, if you're going to join it with me, if you play it currently. As I said, get added on Facebook so we can get some sort of like, um, send in some gifts, play some friendlies, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure the friendlies doesn't really matter in terms of your, your physicality and, and lose your stats, I think, for some of the games. I could be wrong, but I have been playing... A challenge where it wasn't affecting it at all. League table, there you go. We're up and running in the league. Convincing 2-0 win over Cassone. Next game. So obviously I'm not going to do an episode every day. Look, all the times, look, different times. I've been playing some games as late as 7 o'clock. But by the looks of it, over the next few weeks, I've got some earlier kickoff games. Okay. All right, guys. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching. The links are all down in the description. Go and check them out. Get it downloaded. Like today's video so I know that you've enjoyed it. And join me on the journey of Trequinho's My Club in Top 11. All right, guys. Take care. See you later.